go on, just just sum up England before we go to the final. It just... wasn't great tonight. A little bit boring. Uh, obviously, they come back from the goal down. I think Germany deserved to win that game. If I'm honest, I think uh, Jack Grealish made a difference when he came on. I felt he played well. Mm. So that shows me why don't we start with our attacking flair? That you know Jack Grealish needs to play for me. Look. Pickford should have saved the goal as well. And I, I think that's the only... The first mistake Pickford's made that's led to a goal mm. in his England career. Not his Everton career, but his England career. Mm. Germany were better. They should have won. It was uh, it was disappointing. But got, got a draw in the end. Mm. So that, that's the one positive you can take out of tonight. Yeah, I agree with uh, everything you've said, actually. I was pleased for Harry Kane to get his 50th goal. I don't think he, he, he got to too many balls throughout the match, but, you know, he scored from the penalty spot with him to do that. I thought Jude Bellingham, when he came on, was fantastic. I thought Gerald Bowen, even though he was on, only on the pitch for 10 minutes, he looked really sprightly and exciting. Yeah. I agree with you with Jack Grealish. He's got to start. Uh, I'm a big fan of Mason Mount, but I just think I'd prefer him. Um, I don't get why, A, we make two, the substitutes that we make so late in the game. Bowen came on with 10 minutes ago, Grealish with 18. If we're losing the game, let's try and do something. We did it, of course, at the Euros, late substitutions. It never worked. So I think I'd like to see earlier substitutions made. Um, I thought England played better. We played three at the back against Hungary. We played four tonight. I think we look more comfortable with four at the back. Mm. I also wonder whether or not the four we saw today, as in Walker, Stones, Maguire and Trippier, with Pickford in goal, the five then, if that is his first choice back five. Yep. I do, I do wonder as well exactly what you said why he doesn't make substitutions a little bit early when you're losing Sterling Saka probably not their, their greatest of, of games today why not change it earlier try and get back into the game sooner if we got back into the game sooner maybe 55-60 minutes we'd have a chance to, mm. to maybe win the game albeit a poor performance you'd be coming away with a victory but seems to stick with players even though they're playing well and, and by the way Harry Kane delighted that he got his 50 goal I'm not saying take him off but Tammy Abraham, what's he got to do to get on the pitch? Mm. I, I don't understand. I didn't get that. I didn't, you're one nil down against Hungary. Yeah. He doesn't come on. You're one yeah. nil down today. He doesn't bring him on. Leave Kane on, but change the formation. Play, play two up top. Mm. You know, he just doesn't change Listen, it enough. I don't think we can learn too much into the game against Hungary, Budapest. The game tonight. Um, the players are tired. You know, they're in the middle, or the, you know, they come. It, it, they've come off the back of a very, very long season. I know Liverpool players didn't play, but still, all these players have been playing for a long, long time. They need a bit of a break. They've got the World coming up, World Cup coming up. I wouldn't judge too much on tonight's performance as to how we're going to do in the World Cup. I, I, I wouldn't read too much into that. I know, I know what you're saying, though, but this could be, this could have, if this was the World Cup in the summer, we'd be out in the groups. So, saying you're tired, look, we've got a huge squad of talented players. So utilise the squad. If that was a World Cup match, I, I just feel it would have... Maybe it was at 70% tonight, 8%. I wouldn't read too much into it. The only thing I'd read into are tactical decisions. So if I say, I like four at the back uh, rather than the three. Hmm. The fact that we made substitutions too late. You know, these sort of things that are irrelevant of when the game is being played, I think can be bettered. We've got no left back as well. But Kieran does Trippier does, does a job. Matter? Of course it does. There's no balance. There's no balance to the side. And it showed against Hungary more than mm. tonight. Kieran Trippier does a good job at left back, but he's not a left back. Now, our best defender is Kyle Walker. Out, yeah, out was, of all four. Yeah, I agree with that. He, he's our best defender in the England squad. But I just think we're, we're unbalanced when you've got a right back playing left back. Why Tyrick Mitchell hasn't been picked? We've said this before. Mm. Pick someone else, a, a Rico Henry, to, to give him an opportunity to allow him to look at a left back if Chilwell and Shaw's not not available, is he saying if Chilwell and Shaw's not available come the World Cup, we're going to be playing three, two, three right backs mm. per game? It's just not going to work. Uh, let's go to the phone line, shall we? Oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. By the way, before I go to the phone lines, if for one moment I say hold on, wait one sec, we've got to go back to Faker, I will come back to you. So do not worry too much about that. Let's speak to Reese. He's a West Ham fan. He's dialed us on oh three seven one seven double two double three double four. You can do the same. Hello, Reese. Good evening. Well, guys, how are you doing? We're good, very well. Are you okay? Yeah, didn't really enjoy that game tonight. I thought it was a bit of a, uh, I don't know, there's no urgency for anyone. There's a lot of sideways passing. No one being brave on the ball, especially Saka and Sterling. That, that was awful for them to. Uh, I think in a game like against Germany away, you know, that like physical you know, defenders, like, you need someone like Bowen. You know, he's a bit rugged. He's played at non league. He's atta- he, see what he done in eight minutes was more than Saka done in the whole game, you know. Not, not just because I'm a West Ham fan. I thought Grealish was amazing when he came on as well. Mm. I feel like. Southgate, he's got his favourite. I don't, I don't want to be that guy who slags off Mason Mount, but I don't see what he's done for England. He's good for Chelsea, great for Chelsea, but what I've watched him in a few games for England now. He's not done one thing of note in any of the games, has he? 
Really? Well, I, don't, I don't think there'll be too many people that disagree with you. I don't think there'll be too many people that would say they'd pick Mount over Grealish at either club or international level. I'm a fan of Mount. But I think Jack Grealish gives us that little bit of something that perhaps no one else does. Mount, in that Mount plays, Reese. Mount plays because he has a defensive responsibilities, and I think Southgate yeah. can trust his defensive game, which goes got, back to he's if, too defensive. But if you've Southgate. got Rice and Phillips, you don't need that, do you? We we know we don't. We know I I'd rather play Grealish in there, and it's not against Mount. I think Mount's a great player, but I'd rather have. If you've got two deep line midfielders, why mm. do you need a, a midfielder in front of them that's okay. more defensive minded than than attacking? Mm. I thought our defence was a bit of an issue tonight as well. I looked over the place. It was like a zigzag straight line at any point, was it? Yeah, first half we were appalling. We really were. Maguire, like Maguire, you know, again, uh, you know, I've, I've got nothing against Maguire, but he's in a bad run of form. And how's Eric Dyer not getting over him at the moment? Like, he's much better. Do you, not form, think Dyer, do you not think Dyer plays better in a three? Oh, he does, but I think. Maguire at the minute do you feel he looks like playing beyond ice it's unbelievable mm. it's like, he just don't look right does he, mean, he means like a bit of a break of it. he don't look right on the pitch more than Maguire you know I, I would I would. Maguire plays better in a three as well let's be honest but I'd be playing Kyle Walker in the three and I'd be putting Trippy on the right and you I said look, Trent I, I would uh, on, on tonight's performance I said we looked unbalanced which I still think we did but Trippy had a great game and Kyle Walker's our best defender so you have to find a place for, for those players Did you find a place for Trent at the moment, no. Okay, I wouldn't. Uh, let's speak to Larry, the main United fan. Thanks, Reese. Hello, Larry. Hey, you all right? I'm good. You all right? Yeah, I'm not too bad. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Should we just ask? Keep asking how each other are, or should we talk about the game? Uh, yeah, no. Um, yeah. How Larry, are you, Larry? Larry you all right, mate? Wake up, Larry. Yeah, I'm awake. I'm awake. I'm okay. ready. I'm ready. You sound tired. Is that what watching exactly. England does? <laughs> that game put you asleep. Oh man, it's, it's got me a bit stressed out, but I won't let it get the bell. Okay. Go on, talk to me. Yeah, to be honest, it was it was a poor performance. You know what I mean? Mm. Um, I don't know how we can really change it. To be honest, it's the easy option, but I reckon Southgate is not really up to it. To be honest, but. Um, what would you do? Would you sack yeah. him now, Larry? Uh, it's a hard decision because we've got the World Cup coming up. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like Realistically, I don't think we could sack him now. Would you? I don't think, do you not think he I deserves think an opportunity does. again? Two tournaments, a semi-final and a yeah, final. Yeah, yeah. He, 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 done, he done well last tournament. But to be honest, I feel like we should have won that. Like, Italy mm. was that, immediate, that was a mediocre team. If we're being honest, their best player was their centre-back. What would you honest. do then, Larry? If you're in charge right now, come down to you, get rid yeah. or keep? Um, it's quite hard, to be honest, because I, I w- I'll be honest. With you. But um, Bellingham, Bellingham and Rice need to start as the holding midfielders. Okay. Um, Maguire needs to come out of the team. Mm. But that's easy saying Maguire needs to come out of the team, but I don't know who we'd replace him with. But I don't think, I don't think Trippier deserves to start a left-back. To be honest, I feel that's more in his name. Do you? Uh, yeah, I, it, quite it, liked him I know. Tonight. I know you lot. I know you lot rate Trippier and mm. he had a good game, but I don't. F- I don't feel that he really deserves to start. If I'm being honest. Okay, but, Larry. Thanks for that. Let's quickly go to Charlie, the Oxford fan. Hello, Charlie. Evening, chaps. You're right. Excellent. Good, thanks. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you. I just wanted to say that I'm going to war with that Larry who was just on previously. Mm. Um, Gareth Southgate will be the first man since 1966 to win us a World Cup. And you heard it here first. Charlie, can I be honest with you, right? Go on, go on. I've I've been doing this job now for 15 years, right? Right. I have started seasons with Liverpool fans telling me they're going to win the quadruple. I've started the seasons with England fans telling me we're going to win the World Cup of the Euros, okay? Yeah, I I bet you've heard it. I'm not not being rude, but I mean, when a football fan says that, I love it. Right, because it shows the passion, and you know you're back in the team. But it's based on just nothing. No, it? but it, it, no, but mine is based. No, listen. listen so we've been in the Euro final. Mm. We've been in the Nations League semi final a few years ago, and we were in the World Cup semi final. There was a common theme in the in the final and the semi final where we scored early, and we sat back and we let them put the pressure on. We conceded goals and we lost the game, and they went on penalties. I think this year is the year we learn from that. And we we go, and there's no reason why we are. We're one of the biggest nations in the world in terms of football, right? We have some of the best talents. Who's to say we can't beat France? Did you watch Hungary? 
I did, I did watch Hungary. But what evidence, Charlie? Watching. What evidence have you got from the Hungary game yeah. and the game tonight that he is going to change he, his his philosophy? Now, this is what I wanted to say. This is all reactionary, though, because every single tournament we have, people come on and we'll say stuff like Southgate out, I was born football before the tournament. We get to the tournament and then everyone's up in arms about how good he is because he's got us to a final, a semi-final. We've beaten Germany, you know, Colombia on penalties. So who's to say we can't go the one further this year? Who's to say that? No, listen, I'd love England to win it as much as you would. But to yeah, say course, course. but to say you heard it here first, we're going to win. It doesn't mean anything. I don't think if push comes to shove, we'll beat, it's we'll a, beat it's the a big brave, ends. It's Brazil, a brave Argentina. Prediction. It's a brave France. prediction, Charlie. After losing to Hungary and then a mediocre performance today, OK, we got the draw. I feel if this was in a tournament, a proper tournament football, Germany would have easily won that game. What, just just like they did in the Euros? It's, a different, it's a different team, team though. But we, but it's not the point, though. We, we've shown that we can go and beat those bigger teams. We beat Spain 3-2. You know, the only team I'd see us struggling against, like we did today, are against France, um, Brazil, and maybe, you know... Maybe Belgium, uh, you know, like Argentina. No, we we'll beat Argentina, will we? Yeah. Okay. Do you think that Gareth Southgate is no, knows either his best back five or his best midfield or his best attack? I, I, I look. I everyone slates Harry Maguire, and I understand it. I do, but I think there's a big mistake in having Tamori in this team. I think he's being overlooked purely because he's been in Italy. And if he was performing like he was here in the Premier League, he'd be in that England team. Who, Tamori? Yeah. He's injured, I think, he's at the injured. moment. I think he, was he, would, he would be, uh, but, he'd but be he playing he some part. He has been in the England squad before. No. No, but, but he's called him up because he's been, I think, the defender in Italy. Yeah, the best defender in Italy. He, he would def- If he wasn't injured, he would definitely yeah. be playing some part. On the league title as well. I, I hope so. Yeah, he's not been overlooked. I think everyone knows how good a player he is. Unfortunately, I I, I say unfortunately, I I think it would be next to Maguire, though. I think they'd take Stones out or the other defender. I think Maguire would be the the stall. He'd be the one that's playing all the time. But this is my issue with the whole thing about Maguire. He performs bad for Man United. I can accept that. I understand it. Just think of the errors. I think he got man of the match against Germany. I think he was in the uh, team of the tournament. It's the same with Pickford. When they play for England... They perform mm. and they're consistent. <laughs> Just because they don't do it for their clubs, if they do it for us, it's all a match. Do you think Pickford was at fault for the goal tonight? I'll be honest, one hundred percent. I did not see the first goal. Oh. I, I did miss it. But at, a bit like Pickford. Day, <laughs> a bit like the goalkeeper. He missed it as well. <laughs> yeah, but like you, you know, you know what I'm saying though. Like the performance again. I'll go back to the errors against Germany. Some of the saves he made in that game were unbelievable. Yeah, no, listen, I won't argue with that. For, for England, he does raise his game. As does Maguire, but. I love Harry Maguire. He plays for the club I support, but tonight he looked a little bit shaky again. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I agree with that as well, yeah. Okay. You've no doubts we're going to win the World Cup, right, Charlie? No, we've done it. We, we're going to win. We've done it already, have we? Yeah. Have you lumped on? Huh? Have you lumped on? Yeah, I will be. Oh, you haven't yet, though. You're not... <laughs> the money's still in the wallet, is it? I'll whack a five right okay. Oh, okay. That's confident. <laughs> <laughs> Put a pound down for me, Charlie, all right? Right. Thanks for phoning. Thanks for listening to the show. There you go, Charlie, the Oxford fan. Already confident England are going to win, uh, win the World Cup. I think it's a little bit too early for that. But listen, uh, you can have your sound national radio simply by picking up the phone and dialing in 03717 22 